Hi, I am Dr. Salvaraj, your surgical educator from Malaysia. Welcome back to my series of surgical teaching video class. These are meant mainly for undergraduate medical students doing the surgical clubship rotation and to all surgical trainees as well. I promise you will become competent in clinical problem solving and surgical decision making if you are going to watch these videos over and over again. Today in this episode, I am going to discuss one more mind map in scrotal swellings that is epididymal cyst. So what are the various causes for the scrotal swelling? I told you it is acute painful conditions and chronic painless conditions. The acute painful conditions are tarsal testis, acute epididymocytis, and tarsal of testicular appendages. Chronic painless conditions, the cystic swellings are hydrocele, epididymal cyst, spermatocele, and varicocele. Whereas the solid swellings are chronic epididymocytis and testicular tumor. Today I am going to discuss about the mind map in epididymal cysts. So this is a diagnostic algorithm for scrotal swelling. The main thing you have to look for if you are going to encounter a scrotal swelling is whether the swelling is confined to the scrotum or is it a inguinal scrotal swelling. That is the first thing you have to look, look into. And then you have to look for whether you are able to feel the testis and epididymis separately or not. And another thing is, are you able to, I mean, uh, whether the swelling is transluminant or not, that, that also you have to uh, look. And then finally, whether it is tender or not. The get above the swelling is also very important. That will differentiate whether the, it is a purely scrotal swelling or inguinal scrotal swelling. Suppose if you are able to get above the swelling, that means it's a, a scrotal swelling. If you are unable to get above the swelling, that means it's an inguinal scrotal swelling. That means the swelling is not confined to the scrotum alone. And if the patient is also having cough impulse, it is completely reducible. Testis is palpable separately. And if the swelling is also opaque, we are dealing with a case of indirect inguinal hernia. Suppose if the, it, the swelling is, okay, it is not confined to the scrotum, but there is no cough impulse, swelling is not reducible, testis is not palpable separately, and the swelling is also transluminant, then we are dealing with a case of infantile hydrocele, where the upper part, because we won't get the get out of the swelling, because the upper part of this, I mean the hydrocele will extend up to the internal ring level. <laughs> Suppose if the swelling is uh, confined to the scrotum, then you have to look whether the testis and epididymis is separately palpable or not palpable. If not palpable and if it is opaque and if it is not tender, we are dealing with chronic hematocele or gamma of the testis. If it is opaque but it is tender also, we are dealing with tarsal testis or severe epididymocytis or acute hematocele. Suppose the testis and epididymis is not separately palpable and the, and the uh, swelling is also transluminal. We are dealing with a case of vaginal hydrocele. Suppose if the uh, testis and epididymis is separately palpable and it is transluminal, we are dealing with epididymal cyst which is what I am going to discuss in this episode. And suppose if the swelling is opaque, then you have to look for special characteristic. And if it is not tender, we are dealing with a case of tumor testis, that is carcinoma of the testis. If it is not tender, okay, it could also, tuberculous epididymis also is not tender. And if it is very tender, we are dealing with acute epididymocytis. So this diagnostic algorithm is very useful to clinch the correct diagnosis. So this is the mind map. I told you mind map is very useful to 
review or revise the whole syllabus of surgery within few hours. So coming to the ETO pathogenesis, if it is degeneration is the etiology, degeneration cyst is known as epididymal cyst. If it is a retention cyst, because this is very common, it is spermatocele, it is very common in those who are undergoing vasectomy, okay, because all the sperm will be retained and that if this is a retention cyst that will eventually cause the spermatocele. What is the symptoms or history? There, there will be a swelling in the scrotum as if the patient is having a third testis. That is the main complaint or the symptom. Coming to the signs, you can feel the swelling above the testis. You can feel and you can see and feel the swelling just above the testis as if there is a third testis is there. And testis is felt separately. And uh, uh, this is transiluminant. The swelling is transiluminant. And if it is epididymal cyst, it has got a characteristic sinus lantern appearance. Suppose if it is uh, spermatocele, the swelling is not transiluminant because it contains sperm that will give what is called barley water-like content will be there inside the spermatocele, so it won't be transiluminant. Coming to the diagnosis, it is a clinical diagnosis. You need not do any investigation, but if you are in doubt, okay, you can go for ultrasound of the scrotum, where in case of uh, epididymosis, you can see <coughs> the clearly multilocular cyst. Spermatocele is usually unilocular cyst. Coming to the treatment, you can do either conservative if the swelling is very small, or you, had, you, can, you can do excision of the cyst if the epididymal cyst is very large. So this is the treatment. If it is a single large cyst in epididymal cyst, you have to go. You have to do excision of the cyst. If it is recurrent or multilocular cyst, you have to do excision plus partial or total epididymectomy. There is no role for aspiration in case of epididymal cyst because many majority of these epididymal cysts are multilocular. And if you are going for aspiration, you can aspirate only one loculi. You cannot aspirate all the loculi in the multilocular epididymal cysts. In case of spermatocele, if big, here you can go for aspiration. Or if it is very big, you can go even for excision. If the, if the cyst is very small, the spermatocele, no surgical intervention is needed. What is the differentiating point between epididymal cyst and spermatocele? Epididymal cyst is a congenital problem. It is a degeneration cyst, whereas the spermatocele is an acquired problem or it is a retention cyst. Epididymal cyst usually will be behind the body of the testis, whereas spermatocele is behind and above the testis. Epididymal cyst usually multilocular, spermatocele is unilocular. Epididymal cyst looks like a bunch of grapes appearance, whereas spermatocele looks like as if a third testis is there. Epididymal cyst contains clear fluid as the content, whereas spermatocele is barley water-like fluid which contains sperms. Epididymal is brilliantly transiluminant, whereas spermatocele is not transiluminant. Epididymal cyst excision should be avoided in young patients whereas in spermatocele, it can be excised. So this is a tabular column. So I have given all the differential diagnosis for the scrotal swelling, namely hydrocele, epididymal cyst, and spermatocele, varicocele, testicular tarsen, and testicular carcinoma. So here in one column, I have given the etiopathogenesis for all these conditions, and then the symptomatology or the symptoms, signs, the investigations and the treatment. So what you had to do here, you had to compare and contrast uh, the different conditions and you had to do what is called the vertical reading. If you want to compare the uh, symptomatology in hydrocele with the other conditions like varicocele and all, you had to read vertically like this so that you, you will be able to differentiate one, I mean, uh, problem, or sorry, not 
problem one uh, i mean the disease from the other uh, disease or the other conditions this is what is called the clinical reasoning this is the most important skill you have to develop during your clinical post so thank you very much for watching this video if you think that these videos are very useful kindly subscribe to this channel and share these videos in your social media kindly click the bell button also to get notified regarding my latest uploads thank you once again for watching this video let us meet in an at another episode until then bye bye